Oh, my name's Gordon McCall. I'm the director of the play Strawberries in January. Strawberries in January is a play that's based on the very romantic notion of a young woman bringing a young man a six-quart basket of strawberries in the middle of January, very much like January here in Saskatoon. And that launches a whole series of events that brings them together and another couple, one who visits the bistro of the man who got the strawberries in Montreal, um, uh, into um, colliding satellites, if you will. And by the end of it, we have two couples married who never in their life thought they would be married um, and happily in love when they never thought that it would happen in their lifetime. So um, I think we fall in love with these people along the way, but we also get a great deal of humor out of their interaction. So I always say this play tickles our funny bone on the way to our heart. And I think that you'll find that. And, and it's very Montreal, in, but very accessible. Montreal in kind of its uh, joie de vivre, its spirit, um, its identity with uh, French Quebecois pop music, um, uh, but hugely recognizable universal characters that uh, I think you'll really enjoy. Well, I'm one of those people who's in love with the idea of love. Um, and um, I find romantic comedies really well written, very clever, very contemporary pieces like this. Um, very attractive in terms of the subject matter, but also in terms of the, the style of the piece. It's very fluid, it's episodic. It, um, uh, we encapsulate the whole experience on what I call a, a black ice dance platform. Um, under a canopy of, of beautiful lights, very much like from a Christmas tree, but not those lights, other lights that you'll see when you get here. And um, um, a rear wall that changes color according to the mood of the play, all based on the notion of ice. And then it's surrounded by this earthen-like um, surface that uh, uh, is the home of the strawberries, let's put it that way. <laughs> Well, I think that you'll be delighted by the visual aspects as well as the play itself. I just, I want them to leave with a smile on their face. Um, and, um, you know, maybe a little more romance in their heart than when they came in the door. Um, I think that they'll get, as I said, a lot of laughs. And uh, I think they'll get some poignant moments that are very touching. And... Um, a whimsical kind of feel about the whole event that might suggest to them, what if somebody brought me a basket of strawberries in the middle of January? How would I feel? I think I'd like that. I'd like them to give me a basket of strawberries in the middle of January. So I think that they'll leave uh, on a high note, on a very upbeat feeling. Uh, I couldn't be happier being back here in Saskatoon. It's a city I love. Um, we are, I'm at a theater that I love and working with uh, Del Sergic, who's a great friend of mine for many years and we worked together for years at the Shakespeare on the Saskatchewan Festival. So to come back to that experience and um, to work with uh, the company here, which I find to be a wonderful company, uh, it's great all around. It's one of those very happy experiences for me in my career. Well, I love live theater. I do a lot of film as well. I love live theater because of the communal nature of it and because it's um, transitory. It's here tonight, gone tomorrow. So if you're in the audience on any given night, you're getting a very unique experience that the audience even tomorrow night is not going to get. It's going to get a slightly different experience. So th there's something um, extremely pleasurable and unique and uh, fulfilling about that. And both for the actors and the audience, and when the, when the actor and audience uh, connect in that special relationship, there's nothing like it in terms of entertainment. Um, so I love live theater. I also love what it does to an audience. So I call it the great communion between stage and um, audience. I just um, uh, think that this is a, a wonderful piece. It doesn't run uh, terribly long. It's a short Shorter evening of theater, there's no intermission, uh, but I think that uh, you'll be extremely satisfied and fulfilled by seeing it. And it's a perfect time of year to see it. Strawberries in January is the name of the play. 
and we're in January in Saskatoon, what better experience than to have a romantic comedy um, in January?